Hello, it's Wednesday, February 11th, and today is story time. And it's raining. So back in middle school, I had this teacher, an English teacher, who was fair, but she was very, very strict with the kind of writing style that she wanted. One of my friends turned in a paper to her and got it back around Valentine's Day with a B-minus mark on it. To try to help amp up his grade, he got her this gigantic box of chocolates that said Be Mine on the top. The next day, she gave him a valentine that said still, Be Mine, Nuss. My campus did this newspaper thing a couple years ago where boys could write things in about their girlfriends and then get it featured in the paper. It was about five bucks for like one of those little messages to your girlfriend in the newspaper. Well, for Valentine's Day, one of my friends back then took his girlfriend to dinner, got her roses, the whole shebang. Then when the newspaper came out with all the student printings, she found one that read, Stacy, what are you looking in these printings for? Weren't roses and dinner enough? Remember my list of Valentine's do's and don'ts and stereotypes? My friend Ken was one of the people that waited until the last second to get his girlfriend a card. I mean, he said she didn't want a card, and then as it got closer to Valentine's Day, she started dropping hints and he was like, oh darn, I should probably get her something. He was at work at this lawnmower parts factory, and he did not have any time before going back to her place to get her a card. So he ended up taking lawnmower magazine clippings and making her a card that read, I lawn you mower and mower each day. She loved it, and as far as I know, it's still on her fridge. I know some of you guys out there have some humorous Valentine's Day stuff. Let me know.